Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry this video is so delayed. I had it all ready and set to go. I just hadn't gotten the stickers yet. So finally they came in. Today I wanted to share with you how I turn my traditional art into stickers or prints. Today specifically I wanna focus on how I order my stickers. So first of all, I have to paint something of course. I stretched some watercolor paper earlier and now I'm going to show you my sketching process. Um, I really have been loving the Cola Erase colored pencils from Prismacolor. They're really a game changer. They're super easy to erase. They don't really show up with the watercolor as much as graphite, which I love. So 100% would recommend those. Since it's October, I wanted to create some fall themed items for my shop. I chose a pumpkin, a leaf, an acorn, and a pine cone as the subjects I wanted to paint. My favorite way of creating things is just taking a piece of paper and sketching a bunch of items on it and then painting those creations. I think it's kind of like doodling which is nice instead of just focusing on one main subject. So of course after sketching the next step is to paint and I did this in watercolor. Um, I think the pumpkin was the hardest part for me just because of the size of it. It was harder to get the details and covering it with the watercolor was a little bit harder. It took a little more time than um, the other three. As I continued to paint, I got more and more excited for the finished product. I do the final touches and let it dry for a day or two. Now for the computer magic. I like that I can take my traditional pieces and turn them into something digital that can be printed and made into multiple items. I decided to cut each item out individually so I could scan them easier. So each one I scan with my Epson scanner which my Epson scanner is really amazing, but I would not recommend purchasing this one specifically. Yes, it gives a really good high quality image and it is a really good scanner, but I was able to use this because my parents already had it, so I did not have to purchase a scanner. This is way out of my price range. I could not actually afford this if I wanted to get it. <laughs> so I would definitely look into something a little less expensive because you can still get really good quality with a lower end scanner. I want to say thank you to my parents for being super awesome and letting me use this. So now moving on, we're on my desktop now. And this step, I pull up one of the scan images in Photoshop. What I do here is I want to make sure the background is transparent around the image so the file can be made into a sticker. I do this by using the selection tool, making sure the painting is all selected, and then I mask the background around it. I also make sure to edit the brightness and contrast since printing can sometimes come out differently than what the computer shows you. I do the same process with all the images and save them as PNG files. Now for the final step. The website I use to order my stickers is Sticker App. I have really enjoyed using them so far. The stickers come out really high quality and the printing quality is good as well. The sticker option I usually choose is the vinyl stickers and I also make sure that they're the contour cut because I like to make sure they're cut around the image. I don't usually make my own uh, white outlines around them. I let Sticker App do that for me, which is nice. So once I open Sticker App, I choose the size I want the stickers to be and the type of sticker I want, and then make sure the files look good. Once I'm content with the size and quality of the image, I go ahead and order them. And here are the stickers. I was so happy with how these turned out. 
and I'm really excited to put them in my shop. I will be selling them as a set and also individually, so stay tuned for that Etsy update. So it took a little bit longer for these stickers to come in than I had realized. I should have ordered them sooner, but they did finally come in and they looked really good. Sticker app is awesome. I really recommend them if you are wanting to outsource your stickers. I don't really have the time nor really the energy to make all my own stickers, even though I know it would probably be a little more cost effective once I bought a printer and circuit cutter but again I just think it's more time efficient for me even if it costs more to do it this way and again sticker app is awesome I have loved them so far again I am so sorry for the delay on this video but I am so glad I was able to show you guys this finished product I'm definitely going to be adding it to my shop so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye